Good morning students. Today's topic is finding the solution set of linear inequations. The solution set of linear inequations is already taught to you but here we'll be getting two linear inequations and how to find the solution set of these two inequations. For that we need to separately find the solution set of each and every inequations and then getting the intersections of these two solution set to get the single solution set. Let's see how this is done with certain examples. The first question is x plus 3 more than 0 2x is less than 14. First of all we'll take the first equation that is x plus 3 more than 0 Solve this inequation to get the solution set. That is x is x plus 3 is more than 0. So x plus 3 minus 3 is more than 0 minus 3. So subtracting 3 from both the sides, we get this gets cancelled. x is more than minus 3. Now let us consider the second inequality. That is 2x is less than 14. Dividing by 2, we get 2x by 2 and 14 by 2, 2 7s are 14, so x is less than 7. So you got two solution set of x, that is minus 3 and second one is 7. To get the solution set of the given inequation, the values is more than minus 3 and less than 7. So starting with minus 3 to 7 will be the solution set of these two inequations. Second question is 2x minus 7 is more than 5x 5 minus x and the second inequation is 11 minus 5x is less than equal to 1. We'll take one by one. 2x minus 7 is more than 5 minus x. So first of all we'll get the solution set of this inequation. We'll add plus 7 to both the sides in order to remove this minus 7 from here so plus 7 it gets removed and 5 plus 7 is 12 12 minus x now removing minus x to the, from the right hand side will do addition of x so 2x plus x is more than 12 minus x plus x this gets removed so you get 3x more than 12 now Transpose 3 to the right hand side it becomes x is more than 12 by 3, 3 fourths are 12. Or you can divide it by 3 to get x more than 4. Right? So x is more than 4 means x more than 4 means what? It will be on a real line, it looks like suppose this is 4. to infinity 4 to infinity okay on the real line now let us consider the second equation that is 11 minus 5x less than equal to 1 remove 11 from here you'll subtract 11 to both the sides you get 11 minus 5x minus 11 this gets cancelled 1 minus 11 which is minus 10 okay now it is minus 5 here so instead of dividing by 5 let us divide by minus 5 both the sides. We get x more than equal to 2. As I said, and we have discussed this particular thing before also, that when we divide or multiply with a negative number, the sign of inequality, the sign of inequality gets reversed. So it was less than equal to minus 2. It was minus x here, multiplying with minus 1 to both the sides of inequality. It becomes plus x and the sign of inequality was less than equal to become it will become more than equal to 2 so more than equal to 2 means what closing with 2 interval and it will goes to infinity okay with the open interval now from the first and second what do we observe the first value was x belongs to 4 to infinity and here x belongs to 2 to infinity 
So finding the intersection of both the solution set, we have 4 here in this case also. So it will be 4 to infinity is the required solution set of the given question. That's all from today, from this topic, that is finding the solution set of a pair of linear inequality. Tomorrow we'll discuss about graphical representation of linear inequality. For now, you can solve more questions based on this type of problem, okay, where the solution set of pair of linear inequality is involved. Thank you. See you tomorrow.